naitwa Kansela Christopher Koyoki kutoka Nandi mimi ni chairman ya Kapturuga family kwa Italia el Somoe eh tumekuja hapa siku ya leo kwa kuonyesha imani yetu kwa serikali yetu tukufu kutaka kuomba amani katika Kenya tangu kunyakuwa uhuru ya Kenya Kenya hii hakuna hata siku moja imepata sita wakati wa Kenyata tulikuwa na chama mbili ya Katu na Kanu lakini baadaye watu wa Kanu Kadu walifunja chama chao na kuunga na chama cha Kanu na moi wakati mwingine sita karibu napata kubatilisa serikali yake lakini kwa sababu Kenya ni nyumba ya Mungu hakuna kitu atafanyika Kenya kwa sababu Mungu iko katikati yetu Moi akaendesa serikali mpaka akastabu akawaachia kibaki so tunakuomba hii serikali yetu ya William Samoe Ruto na kachakwa deputy yake kuwa watu pamoja na kuunganisha Kenya. Tumeona mambo mengi tangu 2007 sita alipatikana. Watu waliwawa, watu walipoteza mali yao na sisi tunakuja kwa shauri hiyo atutaki tena mambo ya buruko. Tunataka amani katika Kenya. Hata tunaomba eh, mstavo rais Uhuru Uhuru Kenyatta kukuja katikati yetu na kusaidia amani katika nchi hii. Mama Ngina alibariki eh, president yetu William Ruto. Alisika kichwa yake. Mpaka saa hii eh, Ruto iko na serikali. Na hii serikali alipatikana na Mungu kwa sababu ile kampeni ilikuwa go ilikuwa si mjeso watu watatu kwa mtu mmoja na akapasua hiyo ilikuwa si rahisi lakini imepata bahati kuwa president ya nchi hii asike Kenya kama Kenya kama Kenya moja na kuinua uchumi ya nchi hii hatutaki mambo ya puruko ini mbaya sana naona watoto juzi anaingilia kwa parliament ambaye ni historia katika nchi hii na watoto ni wachanga eh alafu kwa nini napatia watoto kikasi namna hiyo ndume mbili kipikana lazima wasee wanakuja na kusema pole wacha hii maneno tumekuja kama wasee tunasema pole mshimiwa rais samea huyu kijana huyu kachakwa samea yeye sisi nandi tunafuka ngombe ndume ndume mbili kwa poma moja alafu hii ndume napikana wa wetu wa Nandi wanatoa eh, tamu ya ndume ile na ile na kuchanganya alafu wa vijana na kunywa na ndume anakuwa pamoja sasa tunataka toa to, eh, tamu ya ruto na kachakwa tuchanganye wawe rafiki na kuendesha nchi hii Kenya ngine atutaki kuruti tena miaka sitini ambayo imevita tunataka mbele tunataka kusonga watoto wangapi wa nyumbani hiyo ndio kasi ya viongozi kuketi chini na kuona atutaki sita katika Kenya isa tunataka amani upendo na umoja katika nchi hii yetu hii inji itaendelea Kenya hawezi kuwa maskini Kenya iko iko na mafuta Kenya iko na gold Kenya iko na mambo mengi hata masao Kenya si maskini tunaweza kusaidia nyingine kuja kusomesa hata watoto yao kama Kenya na Sikana pamoja hakuna hakuna maskini Kenya na tutaki kuruti kupikana hiyo tunalaani kabisa hiyo laani ile ya mwisho Atutaki watoto waumie na sisi kwa wasee. Tunasema 
Kenya yendelee mbele wasikane pamoja tuinue nji hii mbele mambo mengine atutaki amani amani tunataka kuweka Kenya milele na milele asante sana <coughs> naitwa Mutegi Kiongo ni organizer secretary ya Jurincheke kutoka Meru eh, mimi naweza kusema ni skulani nyingi sana watu ya nakuru na leo tumekuja, uh, tumekusanya hapa ili tuombe maombi yetu isikike vile tulifanya na ndalwa tukaomba maombi isikike na leo tunaomba isikike vile serikali yetu tukufu ambaye naongozwa na uh, uh, William Samuel Ruto na, uh, na mdogo yake Gasagua uh, au watu wote ni wetu Hakuna mtoto wa mgongo wala watumbu. Vile tungeomba, tunaomba president mwenyewe. Asamehe wana uh, ruto kama uh, wana gashagwa kama amekosea. Amusamehe kabisa, hata mungu alisamehe mwisi ambaye ali, alikuwa na mutukana. Kwa hivyo sasa, hata kama amekosa, ama ajakosa, ama amekoseswa, ama mpelekwa maneno ingine, Tafadhali wana president sahau hiyo tuende mbele. Ya pili ningeomba wote masenators wale wanaendelea na, musa, eh, na mujadala wa kutoa kashagua ama kuimpichi kachagua. Hiyo mujadala ukome. Kuna nafasi ya ADR ama ile ya mediation. Kama kuna matizo, eh, matatizo zozote tafadhali Tunaweza kutafu, kutafuta wase wambaye wakona ekima, wakona ujusi. Kuna watu wa makanisa, wale ambaye tunaona wakona musimamo ya kupenda Kenya. Kama wase ya leo wanapenda Kenya. Wale wako hapa wanapenda Kenya mzima. Awachagui ni Mombasa, wala ni Kisumu, wala ni Tanzania, wala ni Somali. Wako hapa kwa, kwa shauri ya amani. Hii amani tunataka senators nao wasikisa wase ati tunaomba hiyo mjada ukwishe wamalisie hapo hakuna maneno ya impeachment tuende mbele na nchi yetu tafadhali ningeomba tafadhali ningeomba na hii vijana na wale wachosezi wanachosea tafadhali na watu unawalaani wakome kutoka siku ya leo wasiendele na maneno ya kuchosea ama kusema hii ni mzuri ili ni mbaya Waze wako mbele yao. Tafadhali, waze tumekubariana kutoka leo. Tutaenda kila baadi kenya mzima. Tukubiri amani na upendo katikati yetu. Thank you very much. Kwa majina na hitu Andrew Lerry Jero. Kutoka county ya Embu. Nikiwa mimi ni mwanya kitu wa waze wa Embu na hitu wa Embu nyangi didi kachoro mgrubu. Leo tumekusanyika hapa. Uh, na ikuru seti kuongea kuhusu ile maneno ambayo imetokea katika inji yetu ya Kenya atunja wai yona si tukiwa wazee tangu tupewe uhuru atunja wai yona jambo kama hili tukiangalia wakati wa Kenyata pia walikuwa na, maf na mfurugano na njaramogi odinga na wikavika wakati wakasemeana Wakati wa mwai pia, wakiwa na akina karaja, ikavika wakati wakasemeana, ili Kenya itonge mbele. Tukiangalia wakati wa uhuru bia, kulikuwa na jambo kama hili. Uhuru na ruto, walitagulua vizuri zana, lakini ikavika wakati, wakaanza kufurutana. Lakini uhuru mwenyewe, hakutoa jambo lorote ya kusema Ruto awe imbitsi. Sahi inaonekana Kenya ni, mwe, ni mutindo ambaye viongozi tukiwachagua wamezoea. Sahi tunaona President Ruto na Ndebi Tegasagwa wanafurutana mpaka ikawa 
vijana na wale ambao hawajaona vita ya emergency wakichosea vile uhuma ya amini kasagwa anaweza tolewa kwa kiti hao wa mbunge tunawashauri na kama kungekuwa na nafasi waongee na wazee wangepewa nafasi nzuri sana na kukumbuswa ili ambaye tumeona ilipita wambunge juzi wa wamesahau wakati wa mbiro ile ambayo ilikuwa imepelekwa mbele yao waliona vijana walikasirika na uhuru ruto mwenyewe pia akatoa uamusi wake wa mwisho na akaiangusa yote ili nchi ya Kenya iwe na amani alafu tukitoka kwa hiyo tunaingia kwa impeachment tafadhali sahi tunaweka ile tunaita apiru ya mwisho ni ile ambayo ilipelekwa parliament national assembly ya Kenya na wambunge hiyo ndio tuna apiru kufanya apiru kwa seneti tukiambia seneti wawe waangalifu sana lakini si kuchosea kwa sababu vile watabitisha hawajui kile kitatokea Kenya ni nini wanavaa waangalie ni nini kitatokea Kenya kwa sababu mfurugano ukianza na president na deputy uingie kwa MPs alafu uingie kwa senate ni kumaanisha Kenya sasa imeisha tunawashauri seneti yenyewe hii mujadara ama mwisho nilipelekwa mbele yao kingi mwenyewe aliipokea tukiangalia kwa katiba yenyewe mambo ya impeachment kwanza ile mwisho nilitolewa ilipitishwa na parliament ilikuwa inaitwa census motion na yenyewe kwa katiba hakuna kitu kama census ile iko ni investigation kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha hapo wanjumbe wetu wote walikosea sheria na sasa hiyo census motion ndio imepelekwa senate sahi senate inafaa kutengeneza investigation ili ambaye ama uchunguzi ule wa hali ya juu na, shi, na chini ili mambo ikome kabisa ikiwa deputy president aliomba mshamaa na akasema ikiwa alikosea president na anjui kwa sababu anjaambiwa na president umenikosea kwa hii na hii na hii na hii na ikiwa yeye mwenyewe hajui aliomba msamaa hata akiwa hajui tunge sihi tukiwa wazee wale ambao tumekusanyika hapa president achukue njukumu ya kumsamea ili wapate kuchonga mbele akiangalia wakati walikuwa nakubaliana vile wataongoza Kenya hii na sisi tukajitolea kuwapea kura angalie usaindisi ule alisaindiwa na deputy president wakati wa kambini jambo lingine la mwisho tungetaka bishop wale ambao wanaheshimika sana kama bishop Rangati ore sagiti sabiti anyaro anyoro maki karioki awa mambisho wakae chini na wazee ama watafute namna vile wazee ikiwa ni keso sisi tukiitwa tutaenda ikiwa ni keso kabla huu mjandara uendelee tukutane na rais ya ombwe akubali kukutana na wazee na mambishops ili mambo tuongee tukiwa pamoja tuone vile inji yetu itakaa na wajue Kenya ni kubwa hata kuliko wao
kwa machina mimi Richard Langat kutoka chamia Kipsigis kama mimi kiongozi wa Borowa and Kipsigis Clan Welfare Association tumekucha hapa kwa ajili ya kuomba tuombe nji yetu ambaye tunaangalia saa hii inaelekea kuharibika na tutaki kama jamii wa mlima wa Kenya na jamii wa Kalenjin atutaki tufike kiwango hicho sisi kama chami wa uh, Mount Kenya na wa Kalenjin tumekucha ili tuombe pamoja ili tuiweke amani kitu ambacho tunaomba hapa eh, inji yetu ni amani kulingana na vile ambavyo mambo viko sasa kwa Kenya yetu tunaona siasa ya chuki siasa ya kumalizana na sisi kama jamii tuliwasaidia hao wale ambao wanasosana kufika kiwango hicho ambacho wamefika na saa hii you are exercising the mandate on our behalf and i believe we didn't send you to fight we send you to bring development to the community who send you there our president we invite you to yourself so that you reason to yourself you are a wise person your excellency we know you very well a prayerful warrior a person who respect god you know the reason why when somebody say forgive me we are not going to teach you that because from the sunday school I believe you thought about forgiveness. I know very well, being on top of the H now, we may be even lacking some power to advise you. But we request you, our president, we love you. The two communities, the mountain and the Rift Valley, they still believe in you. And the only problem that we are facing is the, the challenge of the problem that is there in governance. The leadership is good when you are with Kajakwa. And we believe the contract of five years still subsists. And we are requesting you to look into that. If there is any problem within or among you, we are requesting you as a community to look into that and give forgiveness a priority so we are inviting you to listen to us we are humbling ourselves because we have given you that mandate and we know you are exercising that mandate as a contract of five years and then we come and we'll see whether the performance is okay or not okay and we are not going to shy away to demand our rights because we gave you that mandate and we believe that mandate that you have is a mandate that we give you to kuweka amani na ku unite Kenya wala ambao walikupigia na wala ambao hawakufikia ura sisi sote ni wake wa Kenya na tunapenda Kenya atutaki siasa ya chuki na ikusosana na watu wetu wa mountain wala ambao wanagaribia president kama ma senators kama ma MBs kama wala ambao ma brokers wa siasa we are asking you humbly again to shelve your appetites the power is there for you we are not seeing the reason why you should give or mislead or advise the president otherwise so we are asking you let us all humble ourselves we are all human beings sometimes we do mistakes so tunapenda kenya yetu na kama unapenda kenya yetu hauwezi enea siasa ya chuki na ya kumali sana tunaomba kama wase sisi sote jamii ya mountain na jamii wa kalenji kama wase tumesema maneno ya impeachment ikuwa mekwanza and you give talk or dialogue agents